now we'll remove the protective cover from the lower level of the chassis where we will mount the motors and we'll prepare the chassis for mounting the motors we'll need the back that contains the two layers of the chassis take them out of the back there are two of them this one that has the square hole is the upper layer we don't need it for now we will work with this one so it is covered with protective paper layer we may need a knife to help us peel it off but first you can try to peel from one of the corners once when you succeed to start peeling you can grab and slowly peel the paper off don't rush the slower the better don't worry if at one corner the paper tears we can peel that corner at later point again don't worry that one of the corners the paper tears the paper is removed now we can clear the two corners that shouldn't be difficult this one is done and the same for this one now we repeat the same procedure on this side start peeling from one of the corners try to peel once only if possible but don't worry too much if one part does not peel we can handle that later the protective color cover has been removed and the layer of the chassis is ready to mount the motors on it now we can start installing the mounts on the motors so we can mount them on the chassis for this we will need the back of motors and the back with mounts bolts and nuts for them the back is clearly marked for motor we'll use the hexagonal tool from the set and to be able to tighten well the nuts I'll just use some pliers We'll start by taking the motors out of the back. We'll take the mounts from the back. There are four of them. There are eight long 
bolts which we will need and we will need 8 nuts for those bolts I will get them out of the back Maybe easier to get everything out of the back and just return the short bolts which will be needed to mount the mounts on the chassis. Okay. The short bolts will be needed later. Now we'll take one of the motors, as I mentioned earlier in version 3 of the kit there are a lot of improvements and one of them is that the mounts have threads on both sides so you don't have to worry how you orient the mounts when you put them on the motors. The motors have this pin on one of the sides we put the mount on the opposite side of the pin, the side where the cables are connected, the two wires. We place the mount like this and we protrude, insert the bolt from the side opposite to the mount on the motor, insert through the motor on the mount and put nut on this side and loosely tighten it. Insert second bolt and put the nut and now we can somewhat tighten the nut and the bolt. We can leave them slightly untightened so later we can adjust them once when we mount it all on the chassis. This motor is ready. Now we repeat exactly the same procedure with the rest of the motors. As you can see the assembly procedure is easier than in version 1 and 2 of the robot since we don't have to worry how we orient the mount anymore. The mount is fully symmetric. The Erego people have done a really good job making the kit much easier to assemble. This is just one of many improvements they have done in this version. I will be showing the rest of the improvements as we go over other items and there could be even things that I have not yet discovered so I expect to discover them during the assembly process I hope all the surprises are good surprises so this is the third motor I think I will even use the bars. It's quite easy to assemble and tighten everything. It really appears to be a very pleasant kit to assemble compared to the earlier versions. And I am also a bit more experienced after assembling two other versions.
So the four motors are now fully assembled and ready to be mounted on the chassis. Now we can start mounting the motors on top of the lower level of the chassis. We'll take the first motor and we'll mount it right here. The motor needs to be mounted with the red wire on top. So you start with the motor that's closest to you on your right side and mount it with the red wire on top. We'll need again the bag that was labeled for motor. Take out the small bolts from it and use the hexagonal tool to tighten them. Insert the bolt from the bottom of the chassis through this hole and use the hexagonal tool to tighten it. Do not tighten too much so we can adjust the second bolt. Insert the second bolt and again use the hexagonal tool to tighten it. If necessary, loosen a little bit the bolts so you can properly adjust the motor. For now, I will not over tight them just slightly so I can adjust the position of the motor at a later point. Take the second motor and this time make sure that the motor is mounted with the black wire on top. It's mounted next on the left side of the other motor that we just mounted. Insert the bolt and screw it. When we're screwing, we're screwing inside those holes here of the motor mount. Do not tighten. Insert the second bolt. And now you can tighten without over tightening. The first two motors are in place. We repeat the same procedure here. Actually, the good news is that no matter what, it doesn't seem like you can place the motors the wrong way. But just in case, make sure that the motor on the left side is with the red wire pointing upwards. Again, Elego has made sure that the kit is very easy to assemble and very few mistakes could be made during the process. So far I don't see it that being that easy to make any mistakes at all. As I mentioned in version 1 and 2 of the kit there were some tricky steps but those have mostly been eliminated in this version. One thing which I may have missed to mention is make sure the motors are pointing outwards so do not mount like this with the motor pointing inside mount the motor like this with the motor pointing to the outside of the robot. It is quite obvious since 
the motor axis has to be in the center of this opening for the wheel. If you mount the motor like this, you will need not be able to put the wheel at all. But nonetheless, I have to mention to make sure that you don't make that mistake. This is the last motor. And here are all of the motors mounted in place. Seems like quite easy step to do.